What's going on, YouTube? Today we got the bronze old odd tweet makes no sense. Um, I thought it said old. I'm smack. Um, yeah, let's get into it. A reporter followed LeBron to the team bus after they won a fifth straight game. Rumors say the Lakers won't trade at the <laughs> deadline. LeBron's not happy. They're doing what they feel is best for the franchise. Well, how do you feel about that? I'm doing what's best for my guys in the locker room. That's all I can worry about. Look, y'all know what the F should be happening. I don't need to talk. So it seems like LeBron's mad because LA promised they would trade their picks, but now they're having second thoughts. But LeBron went to Twitter to call out that reporter. Hey, Hey Sam, actually my patience isn't waning. You make it sound like I'm frustrated when I'm really not. I told you over and over my job is focused on the guys in the locker room. My job isn't the roster. That's the reality of the conversation. Okay, does anyone believe that? <laughs> Bro, you can't cap to True. Us, Stop cap. The GM doesn't <laughs> mess with the <laughs> roster? Then why did he just make a threat to possibly demand a trade? But if that happens, there are only two teams he would go to. I looked at every single franchise, just two make sense. But how did he get in this mess? We know LeBron is the one who forced them to trade two championship players, Kyle Kuzma and Gadavius Caldwell Pope, for Russ. He's the one who decided to take a $97 million max contract this offseason when he could have taken less to help the roster. Even James Harden did that for That's the Sixers. Fact. But Harden wasn't just named a billionaire. It's a pretty bad look when you're named a billionaire and then right after demand a max contract. In a salary cap... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My boy trying to have an empire for the Board. children and all that. You know what I'm saying? It's not... I understand. It's not all, all about him. That's what that's what this that's what it is. It's not all about him. It's about his kids and his family. That's what he's doing it for, you know. But you could take a, you could you could you could take a pay cut, bro. You could take a pay cut. You know what I'm saying? I say that to say you could take a pay cut, man. You know, you don't need you don't need all that. I mean, I don't want to say you don't need all that, but you could take a pay cut to win, my brother. What's more important? You know what I'm saying? That that extra 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 thirty million, extra forty million, or winning, you know? Sometimes you gotta do even take even take 10 mil extra that's you losing 70 mil cool do that to be the goat business insider analyzed Tom Brady Brady frequently took contract extensions and restructured his deals to help the Patriots address other positions giving up at least 60 million in his career maybe as high as a hundred million dollars look it helps when your wife at the time is a gajillionaire but LeBron still messed up but even with all of that I would still be pretty upset if I was LeBron. Imagine dominating every night. Rumors say the team is not gonna trade the picks, but before the season, your GM said this. Will the Lakers trade their picks? Will they not trade their picks? Let me be abundantly clear. We, we have one of the great players in LeBron James to ever play the game on our team. And he committed to us with a long-term contract, a three-year contract. So of course, we will do everything we can, picks included, to make deals that give us a chance. Ha! It almost sounds like a literal promise. Like, I could just see LeBron with his pin to that extension, and he's like, okay, if I sign this, are you going to trade the picks? And Rob Plink is like, of course we are. Just sign it. Backstabber Rob. Am I right, Magic? Well, you allude to the backstabbing. Who exactly were you talking? No, just Rob. So what if Rob does go back on his word here? The only thing left for LeBron to do is threaten to leave. People say he already made that threat. I don't know. I don't want to finish my career, uh, you know, playing at this level uh, for, from a team aspect. Uh, I'm going to still be able to compete for championships because I, I know what I can still bring to any ball club um, with the right pieces. Any ball club with the right pieces? Okay, never mind. Yes, that actually does sound like a threat. But the two teams that he would actually leave the Lakers for do not matter right now. We will get to them in a second. But what matters now is the trade deadline. Because you know LeBron's mentality is just make us a little better and it'll take us to the finals like I've done before. He took a subpar Cavs team there in 2018, Cavs in 2007. So if teams decide 
decide to sell, the Lakers could buy. The most realistic trade, I think, is with the Spurs. San Antonio obviously doesn't care about winning, but they have legit vets that the Lakers could want. And we just got new information on what that would take. If the Lakers also wanted to add a valued player from the Spurs, like Jakob Pertl, the cost could be two firsts and then some. Then some for Jakob Pertl? No, actually, the Lakers would get Pertl, Josh Richardson, and Doug McDermott, and the Spurs would get Russ, both picks, and Max Christie. He's the then some. And I get it, that is way too much to pay, but Doug McDermott is shooting 42% from three this season. Pirtle gives them more defense. That is exactly what the Lakers need. Jay Rich adds more depth, but you can see why the Lakers do not want to do trades. Like, these are the kinds of offers they're getting. But forget, like, Boyan Bogdanovich or Miles Turner, the player LA would go all in for is a Raptor. I just did a video talking about why Toronto could blow everything up, but obviously, Obviously, LeBron would want Pascal Siakam. All NBA, proven number two for a championship, but he is way too expensive. Be realistic. Like if Pascal or OG got on the market, LA cannot compete with all the other offers for those guys. So instead, the Lakers could get Fred Van Vliet, Gary Trent Jr., Thad Young, and Josh Jackson for salary. The Raptors get Russ, Lonnie Walker, Max Christie, and both first. So LA gives up all of their picks and young players for two good vets on the last years of their deal. And this is realistic because if Toronto doesn't trade Van Vliet and Gary Trent, they could walk for nothing. Of all the Raptor rumors out there, these are the two guys most likely to move. Van Vliet is having a down shooting year, but that could turn around and he's better than what LA has right now. He's also a better starting point guard than like Dennis Schroeder or Patrick Beverly or Russell Westbrook. And he has championship experience experience. Plus, Gary Trent Jr. is a great shooter, and Thad Young does all the dirty work that a contender needs. That is the only realistic trade that I could see the Lakers going all in for. But if they don't, LeBron is threatening to leave. And to figure out which team he would go to, I looked at all of the contenders, because obviously he's leaving to win a chip. The contenders are the Celtics, Nets, Bucks, Cavs, Sixers, and Heat in the East, the Warriors, Grizzlies, Nuggets, Pelicans, Mavs, Clippers, and Suns in the West. So more options in the West, but they don't all make sense. Let's cross off any team that already has a clear number one, because I think LeBron wants to swoop in, be the dominant player, and get the credit. So that means no Warriors, Nuggets, Mavericks, Clippers, and I don't see him living in Memphis or New Orleans. In the East, cross off the Celtics, the Nets, the Bucks, and Philly. I don't see the Cavs bringing him back because look, they're building something new. They have turned the page. I think that's just too much drama. So that leaves the Heat and the Suns. The Suns get LeBron, the Lakers get DeAndre Ayton and Cameron Payne. Ayton is the only player with a big enough contract to get back LeBron's contract. They're not gonna trade Devin Booker and I think CP3 is too old. They move Ayton because he doesn't even wanna be there. He and his coach just got caught fighting. There are rumors his teammates are kind of over him too. Also, Phoenix is less than an hour flight from LA. LeBron could visit his family, he could hop on a private jet whenever he wants. It works with a family piece too. And the Suns were just sold to a young billionaire. And this is the exact kind of like big splashy trade a new owner would make. The Suns window is closing, but with LeBron, Booker and CP3 could finally get that chip. But my money would be on the heat. LeBron loved his time there. Jimmy Butler needs someone a little better than him to get over the top. LeBron would get all the credit if they won. And the roster is a good fit. They have defensive talent. They have shooting. Eric Spolstra is already comfortable coaching. Show that I will love back on the heat. Ooh, that's fine. So the Heat get LeBron, Take the Lakers get to Tyler South Hero, Beach. Duncan Robinson, Dwayne Dedman. No. Hero is a very good fit with Anthony Davis, but I don't think LeBron's threat is real. He's not gonna leave the Lakers, and they know that. 
So his only tool is to make them uncomfortable, which is why we're hearing these comments from him now. But there are rumors <laughs> that like all the trade deadline mess, we get so many rumors every year around this time, right? But it all hinges on what the Toronto Raptors do. They could set the market and they could really get things going in terms of like a Raptor getting traded and then like a bunch of trades after that. So I decided to do a deep dive on the Raptors. And by the way, since I've done this video, they've already lost another game. So I decided to do a deep dive on the Raptors and what their situation is. I'm actually getting good feedback on this video, which is really rare. Pleasing Raptors fans is a hard thing to do. Check it out. Mm -hmm. And that's the end of this one, y'all. Yeah. Like, come on, Brian. Make the right choice. Make the right choice. Get yourself in a winning position, my brother. You know what I'm saying? We got to win some chips. We got to get, get to that GOAT position, you know? <laughs> Things of that nature, but if you enjoy, if, if you enjoy this, um, what's gonna call it? Uh, 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 LeBron reaction. It's on your screen right now. It been popped up. I'm out of there though. Turn on post notifications. Another vibes.